Yep. Hey, Screen Printers, it's Ryan from Ryanit, and today we're gonna to talk about rinsing out your screens and leaving your image area nice and open while retaining your fine detail of the image during washout of your exposure. Okay, once our screen is exposed properly, we've already done an exposure testing on this to ensure we're getting the proper amount of exposure time on the screen. We're gonna go over to our sink and rinse it out. Now, the developing process typically takes about a minute. So we take our film positive off here. Let's come on over to the sink. And the developing process basically means that we're getting the screen wet on both sides. Now, if you're doing a lot of screens, what you can do is actually use a dip tank, a second dip tank, and just fill it with water. Then you're just gonna dip your screens after they're exposed into the dip tank full of water, and that avoids inconsistencies as you see starting to happen here. So a lot of times when you're rinsing out your screens, you'll notice that only parts where water's dripping through it will rinse out first, and the other part will take a little bit longer to rinse out. To avoid that, if we're doing mass production, we can just dip it all in water, leave it for a minute, and then pull it out, and then we'll all wash out consistently. Now I always hold it up to our backlight to make sure that we're getting all of the area to wash out correctly. You know, sometimes there's small areas of half tones that don't wash out all the way, so we'll hit those a little bit harder. Once our screen's completely rinsed out, we've verified everything's washed out, all our details there. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some air and actually wipe down the screen using air so we don't actually put any pressure on it. And what this does versus like using a newspaper or a paper towel is it doesn't touch the screen at all, but it gets all the residue out of the image area. Sometimes your dried emulsion residue can actually, actually the wet residue can filter through the mesh and dry in your image area blocking your image and making it difficult to, I mean, to print through, having you to go clean the screen out once you've started printing, which isn't good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow this out like this. So I'm just gonna put it against something. I typically get all the water from the edge, side, edge of the screen because water likes to build up under the mesh right there. So just get all the water out from there. And then typically hit the back side of the screen as well. Looking good. Now we'll actually stick this in front of a fan or out in the sun to finish the post hardening or drying process. The sun works great if it's sunny, which it's not today here in Washington, so we're not going to use that. We'll just use a fan because the sun actually not only dries the screen, but also post hardens the screen to make the stencil just a little bit harder to last longer in production. So there's a great way to wash your screens out. If you get some air, compressed air in your dark room, make sure it's clean air. Make sure that you either have an air drop, an oil drop on the compressor line or a chiller on the compressor line, a chiller dryer, so you have very, very clean hair. Obviously, if you have dirty air, it's not going to be good for your image because it will actually put oil and dirt back into that image. So clean air works great for cleaning out those screens and actually helps them dry and process faster as well. 